So you're thinking of making that move to Peachtree Corners and you're looking to purchase a home maybe in the $500,000 range. Well, you're in luck as we're exploring homes in Peachtree Corners and we're looking at homes in the $500,000 range and we're doing it right now. Let's do it. Hey, if you're new to this channel and you wanna know everything there is to know about living, working, planning, and breathing all things Atlanta and the metro Atlanta area like here in Peachtree Corners, Georgia, then hit that subscription button, tap that notification bell so you can be the first to know about everything that's happening here in Atlanta, Georgia. My name is Jonathan McCoy and I'm getting calls, texts, and emails from people just like you looking to make that move here to Atlanta, Georgia and absolutely love it. So whether you're making that move right now, a month from now or a year from now, Give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd be happy to help you make that smooth transition here to Atlanta. Well, as I said, I'm in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. As a matter of fact, we're at the forum here in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. And right now, we're doing the work on the forum. As a matter of fact, they just started this. This is a three-year project-ish. They are revamping this, giving it a facelift, uh, making it look nice and new. Um, it's gonna be awesome. Uh, for those not familiar with Peachtree Corners, Georgia, uh, this is northeast of Atlanta, Georgia, about 30 minute drive to downtown Atlanta area and um, very family friendly, very community oriented, uh, lots of things to do around here like here at the Forum, shopping and dining galore. Just across the street over there, you have the Peachtree Corners Town Center uh, that's new over these past few years, got a great uh, green space, lots of a lot more uh, restaurants to dine at and so uh, with what they're doing here on the construction what this is going to look like they're going to put a green space here as well um, they're going to have some new restaurants a nice like food court area so it's going to be super trendy super nice uh, they're going to love it so if you're looking to move into this Peachtree Corners area, it's just going to keep on moving up in value and price. So we talked about this community feel. Man, Peachtree Corners, Georgia just has that nice community feel to it. There's lots of families that like hanging out here. On nice days, there's people out and about all the time walking their dogs, going for jogs, riding their bikes, out with kids at playgrounds. Um, near here, there's a number of parks to enjoy as well. The Chattahoochee River runs right by here. So if you like to fish or just enjoy time, on the river you've got that as well so everything we're looking at today is going to be in that five hundred thousand dollar range as i said all the neighborhoods are within two miles of here and as a matter of fact there's one uh, home we're going to look at that's within walking distance of this location right here so we're going to jump on over to a few homes take a look and then wait for the end of this video as we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the peachtree corners um, real estate market and what's happening here so you can get the latest numbers and see this may be a place you want to call home all right so we're here at our first location here in Peachtree Corners Georgia very quiet neighborhood we're in the heart of Peachtree Corners Georgia this first home that we're looking at is the list price is five hundred twenty five thousand dollars it's got three bedrooms two and a half bathrooms and it's just over 1600 square feet now that square footage is smaller for this price range however the home has been updated has a gorgeous backyard new back porch area so that helps a lot when it comes to the value of this home this area very well known for its families it's also very well known for the empty nesters and maybe want to downsize but to get uh in this area which just has such great community feel for it so the home we're talking about at 525 is this one behind me right here very cool cute look to it it's got a nice little covered uh, front porch area there um and this community at large is really nice now a lot of these uh, homes in this community range from this 1600 just over 1600 square foot home to some, a little bit bigger in the 2000 square foot range but this uh, neighborhood is not um, known for its like super large homes for this particular area so this is kind of your get into Peachtree Corners type of home if you're looking for uh, more updated now there's definitely some homes in here that have sold in the mid to lower 400s as well. They might have needed a little bit more work on it, um, but uh, if you're getting that $500,000 home in this area, um, you're probably looking for either more square footage that doesn't have the updates, or you're looking for an updated home. But again, very quiet area. Uh, this uh, neighborhood doesn't have an HOA, but the homes, everybody just takes care of it. It's um, That's just sort of what you get in this uh, neighborhood and area of Peachtree Corners. Great school district here, 
Uh, you're right around the corner from the middle school and the elementary school as well. So uh, they, both of them high quality in this area. The other thing is, is you're really close to two different parks. You're close to Simpson Wood Park here, uh, which is great for walking and hiking. Chattahoochee runs along there. And you're close to Jones Bridge Park if you're wanting more of a playground area, some soccer fields, things like that. Um, so you got a lot of uh, outdoor things to do here. Um, whether you're super active or you just want to enjoy your backyard, you can see these just gorgeous mature trees that are all around here that make up Peachtree Corners. And, and again, this house that we're looking at is no different. I mean, that backyard, just trees galore. If you just want that quiet kind of nature feel uh, for your house, and this definitely could be a great place to call home. And um, the community is very tight knit, so you'll get to know your neighbors. And if, if that's what you want, if you want that tight knit community, then this could definitely be the place for you. Um, so uh, now that uh, we've seen this, we'll kind of drive around a little bit, get you a feel of what uh, the rest of the neighborhood looks like, and then we'll um, move on to the next home. All right, we're at house number two, community number two in Peachtree Corners, Georgia. These are 90s builds in this, the mid 90s. So this is a 95 build that we're gonna look at in just a second. Uh, it has four bedrooms and two and a half baths, just over 2,600 square feet. Now, this one's listed at $550,000. So we're in the mid $500,000 range. Something to note about this one is that in this community, these 90s builds, you're gonna see compared to the other two communities we look at in the 80s, in a different little part of Petrie Corner said these homes are much closer together. So you do not get as much space in terms of your yard here, um, but you do get some newer builds, a little bit um, newer layouts uh, to it. So um, the home we're looking at uh, is this one right here. Uh, that's a stucco front on the home. Not a ton of updates on this one. It has a lot of the 90s look to it, um, just to give a heads up. Um, but the location of this one is great because literally you go out your back door, hop over the fence, you're in the Petrie Corners Town Center. So you're right here at the Town Center the Forum. Um, this is between Petrie Corners and the Berkeley Lake area. Uh, so really nice, hot area, very uh, sought after in this community. And again, we can see uh, these styles are definitely 90s look to it. You can see that really red brick uh, front to it. Um, as well. And then of course, as I said, we got some stucco homes here. One thing to note about this community as well is it is in an HOA. So this does have uh, covenants for it, but it also has uh, a pool and a little playground area as well. So that's nice to have that. And for this particular home, the pool and playground area are just right over there. So you're three homes away from it. Could be really nice uh, if, uh, you know, you want your kids just to go over there and be close to the home, um, but they're old enough to kind of go out on their own, then um, it's nice to have that really close by. Again, in this community, you go out uh, your front uh, entrance here and you can just walk on the sidewalks right over to the Peachtree Corners Town Center. So really nice location if you want to be close to some shopping, um, dining options, some playground areas, some green space uh, during the nice months, some um, outdoor music that's free and other festivals that are happening. It's a great location here uh, in Petrie Corners, Georgia. So we'll uh, drive around this community so you can have a look, get a feel for it, and then we'll hop over to our next.
So this last home we're going to look at in Petrie Corners, Georgia is a beautiful home, brick on the outside. It is a 1980s build. It's got five bedrooms, four and a half baths. The list price is $569,900. So we're in this beautiful uh, area here um, with some more uh, older homes or 80s builds, but definitely solid builds. So the home we're talking about is right behind me uh, here. It's got um, over 3,200 square feet. It's got a basement that's finished on it. So you're definitely getting that price with the square footage. Not as many updates on this one, um, but it is a very established neighborhood here. Very quiet neighborhood, um, lots of mature trees around. And um, as you can see uh, in this neighborhood, again, it's um, everything's well kept. Uh, some beautiful homes out here. A lot of these are more of the kind of traditional, maybe uh, colonial style look. You got kind of the flat fronts with the shutters there. Every once in a while I can find one that has like a front porch on it like that one over there. Um, but some just beautiful homes and areas here. Now one thing to note about uh, this neighborhood here is there is no um, like uh, swim and tennis for this one. However, in Peachtree Corners, it's kind of unique is there's a couple opportunities um, for a number of neighborhoods they'll come together and join up at a swim and tennis that's for the community. Um, so you do have that opportunity here, but this for the specific neighborhood, there is no swim and tennis for this one. So if you're looking for that, you want swim and tennis closer in a neighborhood, this might not be the one for you. Um, and you'll see that a lot in these Peachy Corners neighborhoods is some of them have their own swim and tennis, but a lot of them, some of the older ones, they don't, but you have an opportunity to join up with a Peachtree Corners Swim and Tennis Club. Uh, one of the things I love about this area in Peachtree Corners and all of Peachtree Corners is you got a lot of sidewalks around it. So um, with the sidewalks that you get uh, around here, you got plenty of opportunity to walk and, and jog um, in here. And the neighborhoods themselves lots of times don't have the sidewalks, but it's once you get outside of them. So if I wanted to go to the Forum or the Peachtree Corners Town Center, I could actually take a sidewalk all the way there which is nice because that's not normally what you get in uh, Peach, um, in the Atlanta neighborhoods um, that are around here. Atlanta is such a commuter city that there just doesn't seem to be a lot of sidewalks around. So when you have a community that has lots of sidewalks that go to its main centers, that's really nice. So again, um, homes right over there, beautiful setup in this gorgeous neighborhood. And uh, like I said, I'll take you around to uh, see uh, this neighborhood, uh, what this one kind of looks like so you can get a feel for it. Um, and in addition, after this, we're going to jump on over uh, to my uh, office so we can take a look at some of the stats here in Peachtree Corners, Georgia, so you can get an update of what's happening here. So, uh, yep, let's go jump to my office and let's have a look. So now that we've looked at a few homes and neighborhoods in the $500,000 range in Peachtree Corners, let's take a general look at what's happening in Peachtree Corners in terms of the market over the last 90 days. The highest price home you can see right here, this one sold at $2,015,000. This home has four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms. It has some amazing updates inside of it, it has a pool, and it sits on 0.85 acres. The lowest price home that sold in the last 90 days in Peachtree Corners sold for $410,000 and you can see it right here. It has just three bedrooms and two bathrooms, it sits on 0.41 acres, it does have some updates, and it has 1,995 square feet. Now right now in Peachtree Corners we have 15 homes for sale that are active, 25 homes that are under contract, and in the last 90 days we've seen 51 homes sell for a median sales price of $560,500. Lastly, I'll mention that the median days on market is actually six days. These homes are going fast. As you can see from the numbers, Peachtree Corners is a very desirable community with homes that sell quickly. If you are wanting to get into the Peachtree Corners community 
or you want to see homes in other metro Atlanta communities, give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email. I'd be happy to help you make that smooth move here to Atlanta, Georgia. If you like this video, you're definitely going to want to take a look at some of these videos right here. Thanks, and I hope to see you next time.